Today we're going to do test or hypothesis testing for two sample proportion and the test statistic that we're going to use for two sample proportion will be given by this formula. Now the z value will be equal to p hat 1 minus p hat 2 all over p hat c times its complement multiplied by 1 over n sub 1 plus 1 over n sub 2 wherein p hat 1 will be your sample proportion for your first sample and p hat 2 will be your sample proportion for your second sample. Now our p hat c will be the value that we will use using the formula x sub 1 plus x sub 2 all over n sub 1 plus n sub 2. Now p hat c is a very important formula for two sample proportion because this will help us test the normality for our two sample proportion test and also it's included in our formula for finding the z value in the two sample proportion. Now let's have our first example on how to use the test statistic and p hat c in performing hypothesis testing for two sample proportion. Now for this example, according to research, high levels of cholesterol in the blood are associated with high risk of heart attacks. While well, using a drug to lower blood cholesterol reduce the heart attacks. The Helsinki Heart Study looked at this question. So middle-aged men were assigned at random to one of two treatments. The first group is 2,051 men who took the drug Jim Fibrosal to reduce their cholesterol levels and a control group of 2,030 or 2,030 men who took the placebo. Now during the next five years, 56 men in the Jim Fibrosal group and 84 men in the placebo group had heart attacks. Now to summarize the numerical values that was that were mentioned in this word problem, we have the Jim Fibrosal group which has 56 number of men who suffered heart attacks after five years out of the sample size of 2051. So its p hat is equal to 0.0273. Now p hat is found by dividing 56 and 2051. And that is our summary for our Jim Fibrosal group. Now for our placebo group, according to the word problem, there are 84 men who suffered heart attacks after five years of taking the placebo out of the sample size of 2030. Now its p hat is equal to 0 0.0414 which is basically 84 divided by 2030. Now we're going to use those values in performing two sample proportion hypothesis test based on cholesterol and heart attacks. Now let's have our first step in performing hypothesis testing for two sample proportions. Now for the first step, just like any other hypothesis test, we need to write our hypotheses. And for our proportion, since we have two samples, our first proportion will be the proportion of middle-aged men who would suffer heart attacks after taking gym fibrosal. Now for P sub 2, it will be the proportion of the middle-aged men who would suffer heart attacks after taking the placebo. So we have two groups of sample based off the problem that we just read. Now for for our null and alternative hypothesis, the null hypothesis will be p sub 1 is equal to p sub 2 and our alternative hypothesis will be p sub 1 is less than p sub 2 or the proportion of men who would suffer heart attacks after taking gym fibrosal will be less than on the group or proportion of middle-aged men who would suffer heart attacks after taking the placebo. So now that we have constructed our alternative and null hypothesis, let's perform step number two which is checking for conditions. Now we know that the sample were randomly selected and it's mentioned in the problem and it's also independent. Now for normality, we're going to use the first set of formula that I've shown you a while ago and we will use p hat c in checking for normality. And for normality, the formula will be n sub 1 times p hat c should be greater than 5 and n sub 1 times the complement of p hat c should be greater than 5. And since we have two samples, we're going to use it to sample 2 as well. That's why we have n sub 2 times p hat c should be greater than 5 and n sub 2 times the complement of p hat c which is greater than 5. And after using the formula and plugging in the value of your sample size and your p hat c, for our p hat c it will be 56 plus 84 all over 
2051 plus 2030, which will give us a value of 0 0.343. And this is our p hat c, which we will use in step number two for checking normality and for step number three for our test statistic. Now, by plugging it to the formula, our first set will be 70. 0.3493 which is greater than 5. Our second set will be 1980.65 which is also greater than 5 and the set the third set will be 70.3493 which is greater than 5 and our last set of formula which is 1.960 or 1960.31 which is obviously greater than 5. So 1, 2, and 3 conditions are all satisfied so we can proceed to our other steps without any precaution. Now for our test statistic, we're going to list down all the values that we have gathered a while ago. For the gym fibrosal group, X sub 1, which is the number of men who would suffer heart attacks after 5 years, 56 out of 2,051 samples. Now our P hat will be 0 0.0273 for our first group of sample and for the second group of sample which is our placebo group we will have 84 men who would suffer heart attacks after taking the placebo out of 2030 giving us a p hat of 0 0.0414 so these values are what we will what we will need in using the formula for finding our z statistic so our z statistic is p hat 1 plus p hat 2 all over the square root of p hat c which we know is 0 0.0343 minus its complement times 1 over n sub 1 plus 1 over n sub 2 which will give us this value so by direct substitution plug in all the values that we have gathered a while ago and we'll have 0 0.0141 divided by 0 0.005698 which will give us the z statistic of negative 2.47 so this is the value that we will use in finding our p value so we can compare it to the alpha of 0 0.05 where we can tell if we can reject the null hypothesis or not. Now to summarize what we just did in our step number one, we uh, were able to write out our P sub 1 and P sub 2 and for the null hypothesis P sub 1 is equal to P sub 2 and alternative is P sub 1 less than P sub 2. We know that all the conditions are satisfied giving us a Z value using the test statistic of negative 2.47 and by step number 4 finding its P value the P value of Z less than negative 2.47 is 0 point zero zero sixty eight so for our step number five with a significance level of point zero five and a p-value of 0 0.0068, which is less than alpha we have enough or strong evidence to reject the null hypothesis which makes our test significance therefore taking gym fibrosal can reduce the rate of heart attacks among middle-aged men who took them and that is how we perform the two sample a uh, statistic for two sample proportion.